Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are 10 books that I have DNF'd or did not finish. So I know that the topic of DNFing can be quite taboo for some people for some reason um and some people think that dnfing isn't a good thing to do i think it is if you're not enjoying a book why continue reading it you know um so i don't like to make hate videos this is not a hate video it's me talking about why a specific book did not work for me and why i decided to give up on it or not finish reading it because i wasn't enjoying it this is not me hating on a book if you loved one of these books i'm not bashing you in any way i'm not trying to bash the author in any way obviously they just did not work for me and my reading preference but if one of these books is your favorite i'm very sorry you can convince me to read it all you want i probably won't continue reading it um just because i already have those bad thoughts in my brain about this book. <laughs> These are just my feelings and why I didn't finish certain books. First, we have probably the most beloved of the list. Uh, we have A Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, this was actually a buddy read <laughs> that I had that I was going to be doing that I was in the middle of doing with um, Emma from um, Dearest Emma. I felt so bad afterward because I think she read it and I think she really liked it. I could not could not could not get through it um if you didn't know this is a romance book between um the son of the president of the united states and um the prince of england and their enemies and then they get together and it's a romance romance ensues um this is quite a beloved book i know on booktube youtube the book world not for me i can't stand politics y'all cannot stand i don't get involved in any way with politics at all i get so flipping bored i was bored the only parts I wanted to read were about the couple and when the couple was together and when they weren't I was skipping skipping parts I just did not care did not care at all I only cared about the couple and the time that the couple was together people are like oh this is a steamy book this is uh. no 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 it's not <laughs> it's not I was like I could be reading way better in all honesty male male romances in my opinion because I have read better ones um but like i know that a lot of people love this book this is just my taste and just it wasn't number one it wasn't my writing style i i didn't really enjoy the writing style but i know that other people do other people love it um and again i can't stand politics i bored out of my mind bored out of my mind and the romance was cute it was the only saving grace of this entire book for me and i wanted to kind of stick through it just to know what the romance was about but i ended up lending this book out to a very close friend of mine um and she normally doesn't like read like physical books um and so i was very excited for her to read one of my books and i was like here i'm not reading it anymore take it you can read it and so she ended up falling in love with it she fell in love with it so much where i was like keep it keep my copy i don't want it <laughs> Um, it means a lot to her and I'm happy that I was able to give her a book that meant a lot to her. She loves it so much and I love that for her. I personally did not so I just had her tell me everything that happened because I'd much rather her just tell me what happened and spoil the whole thing for me and her become really excited about it and be happy about the book. Like her being super enthusiastic, passionate about something and telling me about it instead of me reading a boring book in my eyes. <laughs> I'd much rather her tell me the story than the book and if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea unfortunately but i know that a lot of people love this one so uh yeah next i have rejected by jamin eve i read this uh i believe during the kindle clear readathon or i tried to read it because i did not finish it uh this was a book that i found off of tiktok people were talking about it non-stop and recommending it and this is a shifter book this is a werewolf shifter book and if you would have like watched that vlog for me i talked about how i was highly invested in the beginning of the book in the beginning of it like felt like a Wattpad kind of shifter romance book that you read um and I honestly am a sucker for those so I was very intrigued by it so basically our heroine she's bullied by her wolf pack um to a point where like she has to escape and they end up um or running away she, they end up bringing her back but she's like bullied by these people incessantly um and then like on her 21st birthday everyone's 21st birthday um like they can turn into a wolf they can finally shift into their wolf form um and then also on that night you can finally see who your true mate is her true mate is somebody she did not expect and might be one of the people who are bullying her and up until that point i was very intrigued until the shadow beast sh sh shadow beast popped up apparently the shadow beast is like the uh gods the god of like shifters basically they like praise him and pray to him um he ends up like taking her to his realm and then like hiding her in his library and like that's it <laughs> i stopped 
I stopped reading because number one, I was so bored. Just her cleaning up a library for pages and pages and pages and pages. And no, it wasn't my thing. And I hate like being in the dark about a lot of things. And we were in the dark for a lot of things in this book. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm very bored. So I put it down and I don't think I'll pick it back up. Next is a book that like, I, ha I don't, I don't, I don't like talking about. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so I was looking for books that have disability rep in them, obviously, because I love reading books that have disability rep in them. As somebody who has a disability, I try to read more books that have disability rep in them. A bunch of Goodreads list had this book on there, and I believe it was on KU, and it's Blind Reader Wanted by Georgia Lacare. And this is a this is a nope for me. Just like the concept was like not <laughs> I don't think like I gave up pretty soon because I was like I don't think I'm okay with this <laughs> um so basically long story short our hero in here our hero I believe was in the marines or he was in the military of some sort and I think he ended up getting like wounded in battle and I believe he's like people think he's like grotesque to look at now and so he ends up putting a like wanted sign in like the library because some libraries have like the bulletin board for like job opportunities or notices or advertisements or whatever and so he ends up putting up a flyer for a blind reader blind reader wanted he wants somebody to come read to him that is blind so that they can't see him and be um disgusted by him or so he says i didn't even like realize that that was like the whole plot of it and like that was the main thing going on and so once i like it just it left a bad taste in my mouth like oh why why like no and so once i got a little bit into it i was like i don't think this is gonna work out very well or i might be kind of like put off by this and so i put it down because like how is that like <laughs> okay like i don't i don't anyway um also where in the world would like you even think of that like blind reader wanted like i didn't i didn't even get to the point where she went and went and saw him because like just I knew probably was just gonna get on my nerves and so that's why I put it down. Also, sorry if you can hear people, my roommates are in the living room. I'm sorry. And this is the only time I have to film. Next, we have a royalty romance book. We have Once Upon a Prince by Rachel Hauk. Hauk? Um, I wanted to pick this up because I heard that it is a Christian romance book, which I was very excited for trying to find more Christian romances to read Well, first of all, I think I got like 35% into it possibly. I don't honestly remember it was a while ago um, Over a year ago and there was like no 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 Christian content in there toward to that point I think the main thing I was like put off by was just like the characters I did not like reading in their perspective at all and I know this is a very well-beloved like Christian romance book, which I, I don't get why maybe there's more Christianity content um, later on in the book, but to that point, there was nothing. It's a, a romance book where a prince goes to a small town and he ends up falling for one of the women who work in the small town, I'm pretty sure, um, but he is a prince and he goes to like hide away in this small town and like he just goes around town with no security at all. If that may, like no security. Like if you're uh, the like next in line for the throne you don't have security on you at all times like when you're out in public like like I don't, that just was not believable to me and if you know me if there is something at the beginning of a book that makes no sense to me or that i'm put off by i immediately nitpick everything else in the book that's just it's the way my brain works that it just happens and so that was the major set off for me and yeah i know this is a very beloved book but it just did not work for me personally next we have heartless by kat martin I'm not gonna go too, too, too deep into this one because I have a whole video discussing this linked down below where I DNF it for you in a vlog and talk about why I did not like it and why I DNF'd it. I think the main thing, our heroine was super dumb. Like super dumb, I can't stand dumb heroines like at all. I, you're dumb, you're stupid, I can't. And our hero in here um, was kind of doing kind of like abusive-ish things like kind of like he made this scared woman just like strip for him and like she was sobbing did not want to do it and he just did it anyway and he didn't even say sorry after he realized he did something wrong and it's just like mm, no <laughs> it's like 
no, I don't, I don't, I don't support this relationship. A dumb person and somewhat of a abuser. Like I was like, why would I, why would I root for them? So I did not <laughs> finish that one. If you want to know more of my thoughts, the video is linked down below for y'all. Next, I have The Edge of Always by J.A. Ranmierski. This is the second book to uh, The Edge of Never, which is one of my guilty pleasure <laughs> new adult uh, romances that I, I honestly love it. <laughs> and I get joy from rereading this one. This one takes place right after this book and I did have to because there is a huge trigger warning in here that I don't like reading about um, and I'm gonna tell you what the trigger is um, because I feel like you need to go in knowing it because I feel like this is a lot of other people's triggers. It is miscarriage. If you know what happens at the end of this book, it kind of just left a horrible taste in my mouth and made me feel so invalidated by the amazing ending of this book that I loved. And then you get into this one and that happens. It just made me feel like really bad and it felt like like just, I did not want to continue. I did not want to read about that. And obviously people go through that and it's horrible and like devastating to go through. I personally almost have panic attacks whenever I think about that because I think it's just a horrible experience to go through. Again, I've never experienced it, so I can't give firsthand knowledge, obviously, and obviously it wouldn't hit me as hard as some other people, for example, have gone through it. But um, I personally just don't, I don't enjoy reading about that. Um, it is a huge trigger for me along with another one. Those two are my main ones. And I very, 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 very rarely read a book that has both of those in there that I love. And so I didn't finish it. Even though the book number one is one of my favorite romances of all time, I just, I, I couldn't read it. I cannot. Next, we have a book that I don't think anybody really knows about. We have uh, Ashes of Eden by J.L. Myers. This is an angel romance. Um, that's all I really know about it. Angel romance. I think I got like 50 to 60% of the way through this and like nothing was really happening like at all. Um, I think it's a, like the story of like how Lucifer like fell from being an angel to being the devil um, by falling in love with another angel there. I don't remember all that much else. I just remember being really bored and I think at one point like I was reading it. I think I was reading it on like a car ride or a road trip somewhere and I just never picked it up. And I was like, I don't feel the need to. It was boring. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Next we have Tarnished Empire by Ava Harrison, which is another example of a dumb heroine. <laughs> um, I can't stand dumb heroines. I'm like, girl, no. <laughs> so this is a, a mafia book, um, but basically our heroine, I believe is the adoptive daughter to a mob boss who is like in the, uh, wrongs with another mob boss who is the hero of this book. The hero mob boss wants to get back at her dad. Our heroine really wants to help her father and so she makes this plan to seduce this guy um, at a bar and like pretend to be the one woman in existence who's never wanted him and to resist his charms and wily ways and um, they meet at this bar and he's like so put off that this woman doesn't want him that he makes his men go and like find out everything they can about her finds out that she is this man's daughter and is like okay i get you she's trying to set me up so i'm gonna set her up so he invites her to this yacht party um he says it's a yacht party but turns out he ends up kidnapping her on this yacht like how dumb can you be <laughs> like this girl is so dumb like she you know she decides to trick this very powerful mafia man and like doesn't even think like oh maybe they could do a background check on me question mark like like obviously girl <laughs> like no no so i dnf'd it i was like no i'm good i don't want to read about this dumb heroine and lastly we have the sea king by c.l wilson if you don't know i love the winter king by c.l wilson and this is book number two to that series this is a fantasy romance series um i believe dealing with weather mages so weather magic the sea king is a kind of like think like poseidon he controls the sea um and he ends up falling for one of the daughters of summerly which is one of the most beautiful daughters in like the land and he ends up falling for her but the main thing that made me dnf it which was kind of like towards the end true warning for sexual assault like not from the hero but she gets kidnapped by this 
shark shifter who's apparently like the sea king's like nemesis or whatever i was just so put off by how graphic that part of the book was and i don't feel like it needed to be at all and i don't feel like it needed to be in there at all and i was very put off by it and i just didn't want to continue on with it and i think i maybe even just skimmed and read the last couple pages i still consider it dnf because i didn't read the whole entire book um i didn't like finish it fully um so yeah if you ever want to read the winter king just read the winter king don't 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 read the sea king uh, unless you want to read about that stuff but like it was very graphic and like i don't i i like dark romances but like this one first of all wasn't marketed as a dark romance it's a kind of historical and fantasy mixed together and you wouldn't expect there to be that dark romance aspect in there so i was not prepared for that and number two um i don't want that graphic stuff in <laughs> my dark romances um i like I like dark romances, but I don't like the detailed graphic description of sexual assault. Like, I don't enjoy reading about that. Um, so anyway, yeah. So there you have it. Those are 10 books that I didn't finish for whatever reason. Again, I'm not trying to bash on the author any book. They just did personally work for me for various reasons, as you just learned about. Um, but anyways, yeah, let me know down below if you have read any of these books. Did you DNF these books? Did you love these books? Are you going to read these books? Please let me know. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.